Hey everybody, Big Mama here. I'm so glad that you guys could join us this morning. I just want to start out by saying, welcome to Kingdom Kids, where Jesus is our King. Well, hey guys, I didn't know that you guys were going to get to be here this morning. That's awesome. Yeah, of course. Today is a special day. Yeah, oh. don't you know what today is? Um, Sunday? Dude, it's literally trending everywhere right now. Yeah, 100%. Today is Palm Sunday, Big Mama. <gasps> that's right. It yeah, is. And that's why we bought these. Oh my goodness. Yes. Did you guys break those off of my my tree in the yard? Uh, it looks dead well, anyway. Yeah, oh. that's the truth. Wow. But I mean, <laughs> they'll totally be perfect for the backdrop for today's lesson. Mm, yeah. yeah. Yes. No, no. These are for fanning ourselves if we get too hot under all these lights. No, That's a good idea, no, too. No, no, no. I don't think you heard me. They're for decoration only. Mm -mm. I said these are for fanning well, ourselves. That's not a, a good idea. They're for, they're for the decoration. Okay, okay. Guys, guys, guys. The kids are watching. Oh. Okay, listen. Forgot about them. All right. So, guys, Sorry. listen. Let's just put the palm branches down, okay? All right. Guys. Down, step away from the palm branches, okay? Let's do worship. We're going to focus on joy this morning. We're going to give God all the praise and all the glory because he's done so many great things for us this week. Yeah. So, you guys ready to worship? Let's go! Are you guys ready to worship? Yay. Come on, everybody stand up. Get your mom and Get your dad. Get the goat! Get the goat. Let's worship God this morning. Yay! All right, everybody, let's stand up and worship. Come on, let's sing. He's the chosen one. He's the champion. and close our eyes, we're going to pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you are powerful, you're in control, God, and you love us. So we don't have to worry about anything, but all we need is you, Jesus. So please be with us today. Come into our lives. 
and be our best friend in Jesus name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Great job on worship, guys. Y'all did so good. I really love just dancing and praising. It just gets me pumped up for Jesus. Yeah, and oof, I got hot. I fan yeah. myself. You guys need to be fan. You need to be fan, Big Mama. Oh, thanks, Milo. Milo. Oh, that's nice. Thank Milo, you. what do you think you're doing? I'm, I'm fanning Big Mama. Um, do you not remember what we just said? No? I said these are not for fans. These are for decoration because it's Palm Sunday. So we're going to use these palms to hang up for decoration. No, we're going to use these palms, trees, with our palm hands to fan each other. No, Milo, I am now losing it. Did, did you drop something? No, no, Milo, I am losing my temper with uh, you. Uh, Mia, Mia, okay, hold on, take a breath. All mm -hmm. right, try to relax. All right, listen, I know that it can be easy to get frustrated with each other, especially when we've all been having to be at home together a lot more than usual. But listen, we've just, we've got to choose joy, even when things don't go our way. Yeah. Uh, I don't get it. Yeah, how can I have joy when I feel so angry right now? Okay, well that's why we need God's help, all right? We just need to stop and we need to have time to just pray and, and tell God the things that are bothering us because you know what? He cares about those things and we can talk to Him and ask Him for His help to choose joy. Seriously? Really? Yes, that's right. You know, the Bible says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Does that mean God's gonna give me big muscles? Well, <laughs> Milo, I don't know about that, but you've got you're, you're doing good. Oh, well, I know. Listen, you know what? It means that our joy comes from Jesus. He will fill our hearts up with His love, and He just gives us that joy that we need to make it through these hard times that we have to go through. Whether it's getting frustrated and having to be stuck at home for a while, or maybe you know just dealing with all the sickness that's in our world right now, Jesus will help us through those times and give us joy. Because you know what? That makes me think of our main point for today. You guys want to know what it is? Yeah. What? Jesus is joyful. Can y'all say it with me? Jesus, Jesus is joyful. joyful. Very good. All right, guys, you at home, let's all say it together one more time. Ready? Jesus, Jesus is joyful. joyful. And guys, listen up. I'm going to teach you guys some more about how Jesus is joyful and how he can help us to feel joyful too. You want to learn more today? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Hey guys, we're gonna do something really cool right now. Really cool. Like super fun. Super we're gonna fun. play a game right here, right now. Right now. While well, you guys are over there and we're right here. It's called the in or out game. So all you have to do is listen to see who is in or out. And if you are in at the end of the game, you win. You win. So just listen and then we'll just say if you're out, if you kind of, you know, relate to that stuff. Yeah. Does that sound easy enough? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start and Milo, take it away. Okay, you're out if you're wearing anything blue. Yes, okay. Okay, another one. You're out if you didn't brush your teeth today. Oh, Milo looks like you're out. I'm out, yes, yeah. I'm out. That, I don't like how you were, you, yeah. Okay, next. You're out if you don't like pizza. Oh, wow. Who doesn't but like pizza? But you're back in if you have a dog. And you're back in if you're wearing white. You're out if you have a brother or sister. We're out. Oh, thanks, Milo. Now we're out of the game. How is it my fault? I just keep going. Oh, you're out if you have brown hair. You're back in if you like the beach. You're also back in if you have a best friend. You're out if you're on a sports team. You're back in if you play Minecraft. You're out if you share a room. You're back in if you like goats. Everybody should love goats. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're also back in if you like Milo and Mia. Everyone should be Everyone in. Everyone should be back mm -hmm. in right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're out if you have a messy room. Oh, sorry Milo, looks like you lose. I cleaned it yesterday. No, you didn't. Yes, nope. I did. Yours is messy. No, don't call my There's room pink messy. There's stuff everywhere. Anyway, comment down below if you're back in or you're out. It's okay, because we're all winners. Because if you're out, you can just, you can hang with Milo. Anyway, thanks for playing our game. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Hey kids, it's time for our Bible verse for this morning. All right, here's how we're gonna do it. I'll say it first, and then on the second time, I'll say it and then you say it after me. Are you ready? Here we go. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone, the new is here. 
2 Corinthians 5 dot dot 17. Okay, now I'll say it and you repeat it. Ready? Here we go. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone and the new is here. 2 Corinthians 5 dot dot 17. Great job, guys. Y'all did awesome. This is sun coming up in my soul, Lord, in my soul. Hey, yo, my name's Jeremy. My name's Shay. You all right, man? Yeah, man, I'm good. I'm good. Let's just, let's start the show. Yeah, you'll pick up on okay. I'll get it together. It's been a little while. So, hey, welcome to this series called Jesus Is. We're going to be talking about who Jesus is, and we learn about him. And our main point today is Jesus is joyful. Oh. All right, Jay, what is it? It's nothing, nothing, man. Let's just, well, let's you just keep going. You're let's saying go. keep going, but you also just went. Wait, wait, oh. well, just ask me again. Ask me again. Okay, Jay, what is it? Well, since you finally asked, I've had a rough week. You want to hear about it? All right, what happened? First, my mom forgot to pick me up from practice. Okay. Then my little sister decided to play with all my things. That's, that's the worst. Yeah. Then I came into your house and I stepped in bubble gum right yeah. there. That's your gum? That's your gum that I stepped in. I'll be honest with you. Saw that the whole time. Just wonder if you're going to bring it up. So you, you put that there so I can step no, in no, the no, gum. No, 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 no. You stepped in the gum. Don't put this off on me. Okay, let's just keep going. Okay. But the worst of all, come here. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta make sure no one can hear this. Is it okay. good? I'm good. Okay. So, we have this new dog, and I promise, man, to make sure we're good. Hold on, why, why would we not be good? I promise, the dog's out to get me. You... That's the... the... Yes. Wow, sounds like you've had a really hard week. Um, it's been tough. Yeah, well, yesterday, it was pretty tough, too, because I waited here on this couch for an hour. Why? And a half. For you. A whole half? An hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, 1.30, hour For and a me? half, and you never showed up. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I know, um, it's obvious from the way you're talking about it, because yesterday we were gonna meet up here on the couch, and then we were gonna ride together oh. to the school and vote for class president. You know, you're right, I'm sorry, I just forgot. I mean, it's okay. If you say you're gonna be there, just be there. Like, oh, I got this, this will be great. This will be great for y'all too, a little practical, little tidbit. Um, you can set up in the calendar app a reminder, okay? So you could just log in, time, location, and then the notes, it's pretty cool. You could write something like, um, hi, I'm Jay, and I'm so excited for this event so I can help my friend fulfill his dream of being class president. You're already asleep. Cool, 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 cool. What if I was class president? What, what if, what if I was class president? What's thinking about? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have a lot of future plans for this school. If you, like me, as your next class president, recess will be extended for one hour. Every Friday will become free donut Friday. And best of all, there will be no homework ever. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Jay Davis, and I want to be your future class president. Thank you. Thank you. And next, Fido Finkelstein comes to the stage. Let's see what his plans are for becoming the next class president. What? It's a dog! Wow, and the crowd loves him. I think we know who won this race. This is Penelope Parsons with Action 7 News. He just barks. He doesn't even go to our school. 
He's a dog! It's a dog! Fido. Jay? Fido. Fido. Jay. Fido. Jay! Fido! Jay! Jay! Fido. Jay! Jay! Hey! He's just a dog. Dog! Did you see? Did you see the dog? You confused. You had to see the dog. I. No, I promise. The dog is out to get me. There's literally no dog. There's a dog. It was right over there. Look no, for the dog. dog. No dog. There is no dog. Yes, dog. There's definitely a hold dog. On, okay, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. We gotta. No, the dog. We, we gotta figure this dog thing out later because we gotta call her in right now. Are you gonna be good? Uh. We gotta finish whatever this is later. I guess. Let's 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 take the call. Take the call. All right. Hey guys, my name is Anderson. Hey, Anderson. hey buddy. I was hoping you will have some answers. I okay. just had my birthday and, well, it didn't go how I expected. The people I wanted to show up didn't get to come and I didn't get what I hoped for. I don't want to sound upset. I just don't know how to handle how I'm feeling. What should I do? I know how that is. Wow, that really does sound tough, Anderson. Yeah, man. We'll talk through it try to figure something out. But hey, thanks for the call. You know, bro? This sounds like something, this sounds like what I went through this week. Um, not gonna lie, it kind of sounds totally different. I think you got it all wrong. It sounds exactly like what I went through this week. We both went through a lot of heavy life stuff. Okay, Jay, we'll, we'll figure it out. We understand how you're feeling, Anderson. Disappointment and sadness are hard to handle, and on our own, it can, it can really feel impossible. So the only way I can get through hard times is when I let Jesus in, and I tell him what's going on in my heart. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Jeremy. Hmm. So you're saying we don't have to handle our disappointments all on our own? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. When you have Jesus at the center of your life, you can find joy in all the circumstances, no matter how hard the situation may actually seem. You know, I've never thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. I didn't know joy could be so powerful. What do you think? How can you handle your hard days? If you could rename yourself you my sink. anything, what would you name yourself? Tonto. That'd be your Lone Ranger anytime, you dude. So, Jeremy and I have been talking, and I think we know what it means to have joy, even when it's tough. We sure do. We read in the Bible that joy is different than happiness. So when you're disappointed, it's hard to be happy. But when you choose joy, it comes from your spirit, your relationship with Jesus, not just your emotions. Yeah, so it's okay not to be happy all the time, but it's how we handle the emotions that matter. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, you remember Fido beat me in the election earlier? You, um, you remember? You, uh, you're talking about something that didn't actually happen today? It definitely happened, Jeremy. No, it won't, when you, it, whatever you say, man, I'm I with know. you. Sometimes I forget that Jesus wants me to talk to him about how I'm feeling. Hey, thanks for reminding me, bro, that I don't have to do it all on my own. For sure, man. I just think it's important that we learn how to choose joy, you know? Joy makes it easier for us to look beyond our current situation yeah. and look to God. Yeah, I totally agree, bud. Cool, man. You know, this reminds me a lot about a story in the Bible where Jesus found joy in some of the hardest moments of his life. Let's check it out. Sure, let's look at it. We are coming closer to the end of Jesus' journey. So far during his life on earth, he had taught the people about God's love, performed many miracles, healed people from their sicknesses, and he even raised some from the dead. After a long, long trip, Jesus had returned to Jerusalem just in time for the Passover festival, a festival that has been celebrated by the Jews since the time of Moses, when God rescued his people, the Israelites, and brought them out of Egypt. Jesus arrived in Jerusalem as he rode a donkey. Yes, that's right, a donkey. He rode it down the Mount of Olives towards the city, fulfilling the Bible verse that says, here comes your King Jerusalem riding on a donkey. Many people heard the news and ran to see him because of all the great things that he has done. So they cut palm branches, laid their cloaks out on the road in front of him to honor him and shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. So by crying out Hosanna, which also means help, the people of Jerusalem were very excited. They were hoping for a king who will rescue them from the Roman Empire. And they clearly saw Jesus to be the answer to their needs. Well, not everybody seemed to be that excited. The religious leaders thought that Jesus was a threat to their power and so they weren't happy. 
They hated Jesus so much that they wanted him dead. But that wasn't a surprise to Jesus. In fact, he knew that it was time for him to go, and he planned that all of this would happen during Passover. Before Jesus left, he wanted his disciples to know he loved them no matter what. He sat down with all of them and had a meal together, which also came to be known as the Lord's Supper. Jesus was going to die for his people so they could have a relationship with him. He used the symbols of Passover to reveal the meaning of his coming sacrifice. At the meal, Jesus broke the bread which symbolized his broken body. He told them to do this so that they would remember him. And he also offered the disciples a cup of wine. This represented his blood which would be spilled for our sins and establish a new covenant relationship between God and people who believe in Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am going to heaven to make a place for you and all who will trust me. I will ask God to send you the Holy Spirit to comfort you, and he will be with you forever and ever. Now it was time to go. After the meal, Jesus took his disciples to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray with him. He asked eight of the disciples to wait while he took Peter, James, and John deeper into the garden. The disciples were confused because they still didn't quite understand what was about to happen. This is a sad night for me, Jesus said. Stay here and watch while I go alone to pray. Although Jesus is God, he was also human at the same time, which means he had normal human feelings such as pain, anxiety, and even sadness. He knew what was about to happen. He knew he had to die for God's people, his people, Yet this made him very anxious and afraid. He prayed, Father, if it's possible, please don't make me suffer for the people's sin, but I will do whatever you ask. He struggled with the very human desire to save his life instead of sacrificing it. But he overcame this temptation by drawing from the deep joy within him. He was looking past his struggles and was able to find joy, knowing he'd soon be sitting at the right hand of his Father in heaven. Jesus drew strength from the love of his Father and his love for us. This is the only way he was able to endure the pain that awaited him. So, what do you think? Man, that was such a cool Bible story. I had no idea that Jesus faced hard times on earth, just like we do. Yeah, I really just want to be like Jesus was. So in the Bible story, we learned three key principles that help us better understand how to choose joy. You remember what they are? I sure do, man. The first one was that God wants to hear what's going on in my heart. You know, Jesus went to the Father and asked him, is there any other way? He was able to tell his Father how he was feeling. God didn't mind that Jesus was sad or upset. He wanted to just talk to him about it. Yeah. Just like how God wants to know what's going on in our hearts. You got it, man. Now, the second one's probably my favorite, so talk about it. Yeah, it's mine too. Nice. It is that God takes our sadness away and replaces it with joy. I love that. See, the Bible tells us that Jesus was able to endure the cross yeah. because of the joy that was set before him. So God's solution to our hard times is to give us joy. Think of it like this. God gave Jesus something to hope for when he was going through a hard time. And God can do the same things for us in our hard times. Mm -hmm. When God gives us joy, our problems don't always go away, but God gives us the grace to handle them. What once seems so big and impossible to handle changes completely. That's exactly it. When I give God my sadness, he replaces it with joy. That's good. Just like he did for Jesus. The last point is simple. I have to choose to keep my joy. I think this point is the most important one yeah, of all. Yeah, me too, me too. And like we said before, our problems don't always go away after we pray. Yeah. So joy is that tool that God gives us so we can make it through those hard times. And you know the best news of all is? We can repeat steps one through three over and over again. Wow. I know, it's so awesome. Yeah. There's no limit to how many of our worries we can give to God, and there's no cap on how often we're allowed to pray to Him. He just wants to hear it all. Dude, you really have learned a lot today. Yeah, man, I feel like I really have. Thanks a lot, bud. For sure, man. I think we've all learned a lot today. So don't forget, God wants to hear what's going on in your heart, and that it's okay to get upset. It's just important we give those emotions to God and let Him turn into joy. And lastly, we have to choose to keep that joy that He gives us. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll catch you next time. See y'all. So. 
before we go, I just want you to let Big Mama talk to you for a minute. What is it that you're worried about? What is it that's bothering you that you feel scared about today? Are you, are you worried that you might get sick? Has your family been arguing a lot lately? Maybe just getting frustrated with one another? You know, whatever it is that's bothering you, it, it can feel like a really heavy weight just weighing you down. You can just carry that around with you, that fear and that worry, and it'll weigh you down. Well, I want you to just give all that to God this morning because He cares about the things that are bothering you. And guess what? When you do that, He'll give you something back. His love. And when you let His love in your heart, it will fill up your heart. And guess what? It will bring you joy. And that joy will be there in your heart instead of fear. And you'll have joy instead of sadness. And you'll have joy instead of anger. And I just want you to know that God will help you this morning. No matter what happens today or tomorrow or the next day, keep your focus on Jesus. Just make sure you have time to read your Bible and pray every single day and hold on tight to God's love because that's how we'll keep our joy. Because guess what guys, no matter what we face, we have God right beside us and we can choose to have joy in any of the hard days that come. And I want you guys to know that he loves you so much and I love you so much and I am praying for you. Let's pray together right now before we go. Father God, I thank you for this time that we've had together. I pray, Lord, that you would just forgive us for times that we've allowed our hearts to just be full of fear and full of worry, for times that, that we have taken our eyes off of you. Lord, I pray that this morning that we will give you those things that have been weighing us down, that we'll just lay it all right here at your feet, God, and that we'll just let your love fill our hearts so that we can be full of joy, so that we can share that joy with other people. Lord, I just thank you that you will just bring peace to every kid, every parent, every family that's watching, Lord. And I pray that you will just continue to protect us and be there right beside us. Lord, we thank you that you are our Father and that we can trust you and that you have us in your hands. And we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey guys, thanks for joining Kingdom Kids today. Yeah, it was so much fun. And if you guys have any pictures or videos doing worship or during our service, we would love to see them. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, totally. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next week. Bye. Anyway, bye. My, my love, what is that? Is, is that my chicken? Is it Clucky? Oh my God. Clucky! It ran away! I, I told you to get it! You said the ticky ticky. Did my love, mom's gonna be so mad at us! It's okay. Clucky, you come here right now! Clucky? Yeah. Clucky? No, no. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Ah. Clucky, no! Milo? Come here, chicken! Milo? Milo? Get it! Come here, Clucky! Come here, chicken! Come here, chicken! Chicken! Chicken!